I gave you a little, I gotta give you a little something, something about the video I posted about the dog and the girl screaming at me, wanting to fight me in front of her children. So anyway, me and Carl was sitting here minding our business, and there's a building to like go to the bathroom. So she had like a three-year-old little girl and like a six-year-old little boy with her and her dog. So she picked the dog up, like a harness on your dog, okay? So she picked it up by the top, didn't have it near her. Did, she didn't even put it near her, like to hold it, right, Carl? No, she was was just hanging it in the air. The dog let out a fucking yelp, and I was like, oh, I can't. I'm, no. So she put her kids in the car. She walked over to her door. We were driving around away, and I stopped for a second and said, "Don't hold your dog like that. That's it." She followed us. How many streets? Five. At least. Driving like a fucking maniac with her kids in the car. So I told Carl, "Just pull over, because I'm worried about them fucking kids. Because this lady don't care. I do. Pull over." She pulls behind me, and I'm like, "You got something? Just come over here and say it. Like you're just gonna follow me around like a maniac driving. Just pull over." So she pulls next to me, and that's when I hit record. Uh, she wants to fight me in front of her babies. One's like three, the other one's six. The only reason why I didn't get a little more crazy is I could look over and see her little girl in the window, in the tinted window, and she looks so scared. And she's telling me my dog's crazy. Look at her dog. Maxie will fuck you up. You are screaming at him's mama. He ain't playing. He's a good boy. Uh, but imagine just because you abused your dog, literally abused your dog, and I said, don't do that. You want to fight me in front of your children, girl. You ghetto trash ass fucking ghetto ass bitch. You better fucking get going. Okay? I'm not doing that. I'm not fighting for you in front of fucking children. Um, I'm not going to mind my business either. Like I said, elderly children and animals. Mm-mm. Cow too. His heart broke. Look at that bird in the tree right there on the branch. It's weird looking. It's cool. Um, so that's the story. I'm sticking to it. That's what had happened. Uh, driving. She was driving. Like, Kyle took a turn fast as I've never seen. And she's still, she, she was driving like a maniac. So I was like, just fucking pull over. But imagine that. You want to fight me in front of your, kid, your babies? With her kids in the car, mind you. But, uh, yes, that's what I'm saying. That's why I had you pull over. Like, if she's going to do what she's going to do, she's going to pull out her pew pew or whatever she's going to do. Uh, they, they were young I, also. R they were babies. Yeah. Babies. Want to fight me. So anyway, that's the story to that video. Um, don't abuse animals, elderly, and children in front of me. And uh, yeah, I work for animal control. And I don't give a fuck either because when I said that, she got a little more nervous and shut up a little. Because I told her I was going to give her a ticket. I could have called animal control on her. She really wanted to be a bitch. And got her license plate and all that other shit. But all I said to her was just don't hold your dog like that. That's it. That's all it takes to trigger these bitches around here to want to fist fight you. Girl, I am 40. She had to be what? In her 20s? Late 20s? I would say late yeah. 20s probably, yeah. I would have fought you, bitch. She had your kids with you. But anyway, that's the story. I don't care. <laughs> don't fucking do it. I don't care. Mm-mm. You ain't abusing nothing in front of me, girl. Mm-mm. Nope. Keep get fucking going.